Hey guys, welcome back to Review Geniuses. Today we're going to be reviewing a Ryobi 14 inch cordless chainsaw um, with gas like power. We're going to see if that is uh, if it holds up to that. This thing did come with a battery and a battery charger. It came with a 40 volt lithium 1.5 amp hour battery. Did not come with this chain oil, I had to buy it separate. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the box and show y'all what it looks like coming out of the package and put some oil in it and we're gonna put her to use see how she does all right I'm just gonna go over a few things on the box um, if you can see here there is a load sensing technology it automatically adjusts power for optimal performance and there is a side access chain tensioning for easy adjustments like we saw before there's a gas like power we're gonna see if it holds up to that. 40 volt lithium brushless motor. The 14 inch chainsaw. You see the battery that it includes with it and the battery charger. It shows a Ryobi five year limited tool warranty with a 90 day no risk satisfaction guarantee. Okay, so this is the back of the box. Just gonna read some stuff off of it. 14 inch bar and chain, brushless motor for higher torque, side axis chain tensioning for easy adjustment, an auto oiler, a variable trigger for speed control, Onboard tool storage, easy starting with cordless convenience, soft grip handle for user comfort, and it includes a 40 volt chainsaw, 40 volt lithium compact battery, a 40 volt lithium iron charger, a scabbard, a combination wrench, and an operations manual. It says 40 volt 1.5 amp hour lithium ion battery provides maximum run time onboard LED check your charge gauge no memory effect compatible with any Ryobi 40 volt tool which we're gonna come on over here I'm gonna show y'all the different tools that this battery will actually hook up to so it will hook up to these tools All right, let's open this up. So, here's the charger. This is the charger. This is the battery. It's fully charged. Great. The manual. And there's the the chainsaw. There's the blade. There's the, this is where the oil goes. And the battery goes right in this compartment right here. Which I'll go ahead and put the battery in it now.
Clicks right in there. It actually looks like that you could put a larger batter in here that Ryobi sells. I have the smaller one that it came with. All right, so I just put some oil in this and I'm um, gonna go ahead and uh, we're going to see what it, what it can do right now. Um, let's just get a feel for this. Okay, um, you can see the difference in the sizing. This is the one we cut just a minute ago. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna step it up and cut this one, and we're gonna see uh, if the electric chainsaw can handle it. All right, here we go. All right, handled that great. All right, um, one thing I did want to go over, this chainsaw does not have any, no serious kick to it. It is a powerful chainsaw, but as far as the kick back on it, it's pretty light. It's a light chainsaw, it's not heavy, like uh, some of these gas power chainsaws. Uh, I'm gonna have my wife standing over here. I'm gonna have her cut this uh, tree so y'all can see. Uh, this is her first time using a chainsaw ever. So we're gonna see how this goes. There we go. We're gonna be stepping it up uh, quite a few notches. We cut this, the last cut, and this cut, we're gonna try to see if we can uh, cut this tree right here. All right, let's give it a go. Alright, it cut through it. Um, I will say that if you have uh, some really heavy duty cutting and you have to cut a lot of these, um, I wouldn't go for the electric chainsaw. It can do it. Um, but as the battery goes right now, we are, we are down two notches right now. But if you just got some smaller limbs to cut like what we cut before, this would hold up great, but as far as large trees, I would definitely uh, get a more powerful gas motor if you have a lot of bigger trees to cut down. <laughs> 